out again. Different uh, different story this time. We're going green lane in. Um, Brian's bought himself a Discovery as he's rebuilding the, the normal Defender, which is still in the shed at the moment. But we're making our way up to. Where are we going, Landridnod? Is that where? Radna. Radna Forest. If anybody knows that, we're going through Hereford at the moment. We've got uh, next to zero tools, no straps, no real, <laughs> <laughs> no real way of rescue. So we're not going to actually take the piss and go. Uh, but we are. We'll get through. It. We'll get through. Some fashion. No real plan of where we're going, which is nice. Cause plans are there to fail. So don't make plans. But this could all go wrong. This very could go sharp. wrong. It's just not as bouncy or anything. No, that's true. If anybody wants to hear any information about this discovery, it's a Disco One J Reg that he's bought for two and a half thousand pounds, and it's had basically all work completed to it. In terms of they've had a new boot welded in, it's had new chassis work. Oh. It's had a little patch on the one of the body mounts on the back end, but it's only a little bit. You should be able to hear the engine <laughs> with the microphone. It's sweet as a nut, and compared to Defender, <laughs> far more comfortable. A lot more comfortable. You can stretch in this without putting the window through, which is nice. <laughs> but yeah, Burgundy Red, you'll get to see it later when I do some outside videos of um, it Fox going Fire over. Red. Fox Fire Red. Is that what? Is that it's the spec? Is it? even a sticker on the bottom. Fox the Fire bottom. Red. There we go. It's a bit scratched up. Bad, battle wounds and it's called character. You can't have a super yeah. clean one. Should have a few more after the day as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you should uh, see some beautiful parts of Wales. Unless the weather carries on like this, and you'll just see my mug for <laughs> the duration of this film. <laughs> God, but we are camping, <laughs> and uh, that's going to be wet. We don't know where. Not a clue where. You guys know as much as we do. It's an adventure. Right guys, just giving you a little panoramic view. It's not so panoramic, it's more like 90 degrees. But uh, we've just pulled off the main road. And uh, started going down the little track, which is called Warren Woods. Looking for the start of the green lane. What did you call it? Water breaks its neck. Water breaks its neck. Funny old name. Yeah, not so funny when you're in the truck on the passenger side, son. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful part of Wales. I just hope there's no big muddy boggles. Yeah. So we uh, just gone through the first gate. We're on our first bridal bridal path. You can't be saying that on the green lane video. <laughs> on our first green lane, which we're in the Radna Forest. So it's going to get pretty. Picturesque by the of that. So having some issues with the truck with uh, not being able to get in the gear when we come to a stop. <laughs> so green lane and it's probably not the ideal situation. But once it's in, it's in. Just another view of the green lane we're on. We had a bit of an issue coming up the first field. We, uh, we had a bit of a slight slide down to the right hand side into a little perilous wood which we would never have got out of. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter how good your clutch is. My heart was going. It looked a bit strata florally down there with yeah. the stream, then I think we got a little bit of a ford coming up out here. Yeah. What a place. We don't know this one, we've never been up here. All the, all the green lines we've done, we haven't beaten this one. Yeah. We're on solid bedrock, and that's a bedrock. On solid bedrock, and that's a that's a good thing. Yeah. Because these guys are no good in mud, son. Uh, all terrains are no good in mud, really. The place where we are, uh, our country. Welcome to Wales. Yeah. 
right that gate. Still bouncing our way down the green lane. It's been alright actually, bar that one field. This is, this is lovely, by the way. Yeah. But it just keeps going into the distance, yeah. yeah. Which is a good thing. Class typical Teddy Tubby land look. What, what, what would them daisy bits be on top of that mountain over there? I don't know, I have no idea. It's like sand, isn't it? It's a little bit like sand. Wow, pretty. Oh, look at this, it's just mountain in every direction. Yeah, for sure. These are the sort of things that could get waterfall yeah. I mean, like down into that gorge. Or... Sheila, you're a YouTube star, love. Yeah. Well, then, you and your proper head is aren't you? Yeah, you and your family. Eh? <laughs> this is Teddy Tubby Land, isn't it? Oh, like a baby in front. Oh, bless oh. him. So, we've been on the Green Lane for about five, six miles, I reckon. Hour and um, still don't know where we are. Must have gone over four, five, months, five, six months. Yeah, done a few thousand foot of ascent. Somewhere oh, yeah, near Shropshire in Mid Wales. But, um, can't remember the name of the lane that we just come on to. Right, no name, unless it's all one thing. So we come to the end of the first. Well, sat in Green Lane because we crossed the road and went on to another one. But we've yeah. come down onto the A488 at. Maybe between Prestine and Landard. Try and get a zoom in on it. By you somewhere. We are, we are up by you. I would say where number 15 is. Oh, so we want to go. Left. Right there. Where are we on the. We are about by you, where that number 15 is. Yeah, I got you. Bledford's up the road there. Eh? So, so take a left. Left out to Penny Pond. A A44, right at that. So yeah, banging. We Back are on. right, right on the tower. bounds. You can have a passenger. Thank you. Navigator. Matt, bitch. <laughs> Boys, is our He's on next stop. Seat <laughs> um, <laughs> what are we going to do with the Elan Valley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so. Happened. We're Elan Valley bound now, which is another beautiful track. We'll see you there. Check this out for a bit of bushcraft extravaganza. <laughs> We've got a ghillie kettle, but on top of the uh, <laughs> triple gas hob. <gasps> That's a bit of a rusty bottle. It's my nose. But uh, quite an idyllic location for a cup of tea on the side of the A488 in there. Boo! Yeah, cut them. I'm a brew. Welcome to the Elam Valley. Um, the res is low because there's no water coming over the, the dam wall. Yeah, another beautiful part of Wales. So we'll have a little look out of the, the window. Sorry if the footage was a bit bumpy, but getting sweat. Oh, look at that. Who needs to go to Scotland and the Highlands and everything? Although it'd be beautiful, like, it's all here as well. There's some nice music to this video, we're going along the roads doing. Yeah. Here we are on the, this is the land res now, isn't it? This is Clearway Clear, Res. Clearway Reservoir. Clearway Res. In Ryder. Beautiful sunny day. Lovely Welsh, typical weather. Yeah. Waves on that res, mate. 
Det så har Så har vi en nuke over. Der er der. Det er en slags der er den for Didn't look that bad, honestly. One shot out of the one fucking... Yeah, so fucking really good. It's a barb house, a bit of an egg. Lamb steaks are nice though. Yeah. So we've been in the truck for eight and a half hours. <laughs> we haven't finished yet. We haven't finished yet. We're going back to a campsite called Coco's Wild Camp, which is run by Stephen Powell, so shout out to Stephen. It'll be a first for us and we found it accidentally earlier, but we've been meaning to come up here for a while. We're just coming back through Ryder and we got roughly 10 miles to get back to Cook Oaks Wild Camp where we're going to get some food on and <laughs> have a shitload of beer I think Well, I'm going to have a couple I'm going to have a few but let me tell you it's 8 o'clock mind you <laughs> camera's on huh? camera's on alright <laughs> 9 hours in finally found Cook Oaks Wild Camp <laughs> We and got there eventually into our, the first the first beer, which is the Lansdowne West Coast IPA. Brian's on the Thatcher's Haze. Uh, cheers. Cheers, Brian. Cheers, Bob Boy. It's a. It's, I don't know if you knew it. It's not so bad here, but we just went up on top of the hill and it was howling with rain. There's no chance of uh, having a tarp up there. We saw it cook dinner. It's coming, what's the time, half eight? Ten to nine. Ten to nine. <laughs> God. We still haven't done a tent, it's not that. <sighs> just sit down a minute now. Yeah, sit down just and chill. relax. Have a relax. Oh. So it's quarter past ten. We finally managed to get the tent up. Uh, Brian's sleeping in the back of the van. You see him all cushy by here. Yeah. Toast. The van go is out there. Oh, I think you can just see, nah, you can't see it. And I don't really fancy showing you it because I'm going to get my camera soaked. But uh, we got to get some food on because I'm starving. Oh, well, it's been an eventful day. Um, I'm in my tent now, obviously I haven't filmed putting it up because it's been absolutely sideways rain all night. We had a, a lamb pasta dish cooked. Yeah, I feel tired I love. Yeah, we had a lamb pasta dish cooked on the on a double burner that you saw earlier. <sighs> Harsh. We had to put a tarp over the back of the discovery door. With the we turned the turned the land rope around and so the wind was coming up over the bonnet and then our back door was open away from the wind so that we had a bit of a cuppy there but we put a tarp over and it was howling <laughs> it was a struggle to get the pasta cooked and stuff but uh, I'm in my tent I had like two and a half pints, that's it it's, it's mid, no, it's like half past twelve I think I'm, I'm going to be signing out but hopefully in the morning I can show you the the tent and sort of where we are because it's just bleak, it's bleak out there. I don't know if you can hear it, it's just how they're not. The van goes holding up well, which is good. Getting a bit of a flap off the left hand side, but the dire part is I am actually on a bit of a slant and I, oh, of all the camps I ever do, I make sure that I'm, I'm not on the slant, but tough. No. I didn't have a choice. I couldn't just up and move and go somewhere else like that. I think that's it. I think we're going to get back on the 
Green Lane in the morning and head back down towards South Wales from where we are now. But yeah, I highly recommend Coco's Wild Camp and Die. It's lush. The only thing that could be better is the weather. The place is lovely though. The lovely little ponds and it's just rural. The views on the way up here are just ridiculous. But so. Signing out and I'll see you in the morning. Nostra. Ooh. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Last night was rough. There's a good storm came through uh, camp last night then. Flip it up. The rain was severe. The wind was incredible. Tent proper started like <laughs> the flight sheet was just like that last like just smashing me in the face. <laughs> oh. Never mind, it's all part of it. If anyone's wondering what tent they're in, it's the Fango Zenith 200. They don't make these anymore, but it's a brilliant tent. They still make the Nevis, which is a cheaper model of this, but um, yeah, I'm with a an old Van Gogh Nightstar sleeping bag. My bivy bag's on top of that, and I'm using a Thermarest Pro Light Four um, self-inflated mat. Oh yeah. Hopefully in a minute I can gather the courage to go outside and <laughs> have a look round because I think the sun's coming out. Oh, peace. It's ten pound a night. It's worth every penny. There's plenty of places to uh, pitch a tent or have your camper van or whatever. Loads to do around the area: fell running, green leaning, mountain walking, mountain biking, pubs, everything. So get up here and get on it. It's lush. So there is the Van Gogh. Zenith 200 and all this glory. Oh well, we broke camp. Um, managed to get everything basically dry back into the bags, which is always a nice thing. We had a bacon sandwich and a cup of tea. Well, yeah, a cup of coffee actually. Brian had hot chocolate, courtesy of the ration hot pack. Chocolate. He still got his, but mine's up. Uh, Last evening. I had mine in my aluminium cup, so you just basically weld that at the bottom of <laughs> it. And then it goes cold after five minutes. Yeah, so uh, we're back in the truck anyway. We're, in a, we're back on the green lane. So hopefully, you'll get to see some more nice places on the way home. I might even get out and film some bits because it's not raining. Yeah. Touch wood, it will stay dry, but hey. Things it's should be off. a bit better today. Yeah, definitely. You're 
I can relax.